I think anybody who goes to graduate school watches the professor in the front of the room and imagines himself or herself up there. And I did that. I, you know, I could do that. Uh, I'd enjoy doing that. Well, you know, when I went to graduate school back in the 70s, I didn't want to teach. I wanted to do research. Part of our training, though, was to assist professors in teaching. I was terrified. I remember the lecture still today, because you teach the medical students, and they sit in the back and see how you do. But I found that I loved preparing for it. And then when I went in, and the students were asking questions, I just got hooked. You have to be um, innovative. It has to be lively all of the above, and um, it's, it's a good challenge. It's, I liked that, I thought it was good. I still remember it very well. Purchase order could be a formal document. What I really want is enthusiasm, and, and that's partly my job, is, is to in, instill enthusiasm. Uh, I watch faces, I watch eyes, because you can get a sense of whether your students are understanding and whether you need to slow down, speed up, do something different. You have to be there for the students. I like to run the classes and the lab and the mentorship in a very interactive fashion. But you want to question what they think they know. But you always challenge the knowledge. And nothing is written in stone and turn it upside down, see if it still is, holds truth or not. It is so much fun to see students have their own first set of data. So often, they just get so excited at looking at their data. Like, My data, look at this, you know, and they're, they're kind of appalled sometimes that the data are kind of noisy. <laughs> and it's really good to learn that that's what data look like. And you relive that kind of experience, just seeing your students do things that they couldn't do before. Um, and that's really one of the joys of academics. You know, it, it's always just, you know, heartwarming when you get somebody at graduation or somebody five years after graduation saying thank you. Um, you know, they say, you've made a difference. What better thing for, for any teacher? Now, what sticks most with me over the years are the experiences in preparing a student for a presentation. And to coach the students and teach them in that process, that's really my most cherished memory to just see how they finally go out there and uh, make their points, how they repair it, how they explain it. And I I'm, I'm, have a lot of pride in that. If you're trying to impart enthusiasm to students, what better way to do it than talk about some of the things that get scholars excited? I think there are completely complementary because uh, research, you, know, you start out with a big question, but then to do research you have to get more and more into the details and you have to know everything there is to know about this very small area. Teaching is exactly the opposite, you have to have this broad perspective. And so I just think they fit together so well. Research is an acquired taste, I think, uh, because you typically expect that something does not work and you're very pleased when it works. I'm very often pleased if my hypothesis is wrong because then I know that the experiment has told us something that I did not know before. After I finished my training in, in Germany at a junior faculty position there in pharmacology, my mentor told me you have to move into a different direction just to broaden your horizon. Cancer is such a threatening disease. I thought that would be a very exciting area to go into and I think it was a great choice. I am interested in the aging mind and brain. How our thinking, our remembering, our reasoning uh, change as we age. Studying aging really is studying your own future. Well, it helps you to think about what's going to matter to me. And it helps to put the present in perspective. Somehow I fell in love, and I'm not totally sure how, uh, w with the field of financial regulation. And that sounds dry and dusty. Uh, it's not. It's, you know, how we build uh, our society in terms of money and capital. You know, stories about insider trading are as rich in human drama as, as any subject within the law. Academics in general is just such an amazing profession because I come into a place where everybody wants to learn. I find this a, an incredible job because you get to find things you didn't know the day before. I never get bored.
This is not a boring job. It's always different.